Okay, rearranging these uh, fire brick, I ended up with a little bit better um, uh, uh, configuration here. These uh, I've I'm only using 13 bricks, and uh, these three here are left over, um, and it also minimizes how much I have to cut. We got, yeah, oops, wrong direction. Um, I'll only have to cut that one brick. Still got the same cross-sectional uh, dimensions and uh, actually better airflow because before in the back right there there was a there was a one kind of cutting in the corner. So that gives us a full four and a half by six and a half opening here, and um, and then uh, seven by seven up here, and that's going to work out I think just great because we, again we got uh, a high speed. Uh, wind velocity going through right here uh, all your combustion is going to be right here in this spot here and then as this air as the as it opens up into a larger space it's allowed to expand which then should you know create a draw uh, an automatic draw which should increase our velocity right here so I think that's it and then I have uh, three pieces left over for uh, well, for pieces and parts, or, or that might that piece might even just uh, come in uh, handy as a connection point. Um, and uh, then the idea is that uh, you know, imagine the, the steel all around there, and then you just load load your sticks in, you know, in there like that. Um, and maybe that's not a bad idea to have that sitting right there like that, because there'll be a few hot pieces sitting right on the bottom. Um, anyway. That's what I've got so far. So now i got to start uh, building a metal frame to hold it all. Alright, I'll see you on the next video.